So today we're going to go over the mods that I've done to this camper over the last couple years. I've, I've accumulated probably approximately 20 mods I've done to this trailer over the last couple years. And we're going to start from the ones that are not as popular as the ones toward the end will be the ones that I really, really have liked. If I had to do over again, I probably would have done most of these mods still. But some of them I use more than others, so we won't get into. We'll, we'll get it. We'll start with the ones that I use the least, or that help me the least, and then we'll go to the ones uh, that I use all the time. So, anyway, let's start off here. We'll start off with this can be a countdown, and we'll start off with number 20. So, the mod that I did with the stove, and like I say, all these mods can be looked at. If you look at past videos, you'll see where I made these mods, so I won't get into the details of how I did these, but each one of them will be in a different video. You just have to go back and find those videos. But our first mod that uh, it was I'm going to go say is number 20 on our list is where I put in these igniters on the stove. And you can see them here. They, they spark up. And uh, we don't use this as much as I thought I would because I have an actual little sparker that I use a lot of times and sometimes these don't work as well they shift around a little bit and the, the arc in between here's got too big of a gap but it's it is still good to do this if you have this stove that like I say the stove that has the oven already has the igniters but this one here I added in igniter here and uh it might be because my battery is getting low but sometimes it doesn't like like I like it to so I just use the old manual lighter on these so that's a mod that took a lot to do and uh it's just up to you if you want to do it again but um that's probably one of my least favorite mods that i've done number 19 is a mod i just did recently and here it is it's elastic storage i put on here and this comes in handy if you in different places probably throughout the camper we've put it underneath of here and we may use that in the future, but we found this last trip we went on, we really didn't use it that much. So we, uh, it's still a good, easy way to do one of those mods to put one of these storage setups on here. But uh, in our case, we didn't, we haven't used it as much as we thought we would because you've got a lot of stuff in this area whenever you go camping. Okay, on number 18 will be our mod that I did in this one side cabinet. On the FD model, you have these two cabinets, and I took my door, instead of swinging it like that one does on that side, I swung the door differently, where it opens wide open here, and I added this drawer. Again, this is a great idea if you wanted the drawer, but uh, it's a lot of work. This is a lot of work, and I thought if I really, really like it, I was gonna do it over here on the other side, but it's such a pain to make this drawer that I don't know if I'll ever make another one. And uh, my wife uses this one and she likes it quite a bit. And uh, at the very least, I would have put shelves in here, but I'm not sure if I'd go through the, the hassle of making that drawer again. So that's one that we're, we use, but I definitely don't want to put the effort into making one on this side. And we'll get into this one here. This is one of my mods that I really do like. And we'll get into that one here toward the end. But uh, that's come to my conclusion. This is the way I would rather do it. It's a lot easier to do, and we'll get to that later on in the countdown. Number 17 on our list is the little shoe rack we've added here. And people have done different things with shoe racks. I'm not really that happy with this one here. Uh, different people have had it where you take your shoes and put it behind. I think it, definitely a shoe rack here is a good idea. I'm not crazy about my design. It's got these double things here, and when you put a shoe on, it has a tendency to hit the other one at the bottom, and sometimes I just stick my shoes down there. So, again, that's something that I did, but if I had it to do over again, I may do it a little bit differently. Okay, number 16 is uh, something we did, and it doesn't necessarily have to be done for everybody because they got a toilet paper rack that comes with the... the uh, the actual camper and we just decided we wanted to attach it here we wanted to have little wipes on top so we we added this particular setup here so again not big deal like I say you already have one already but 
we decide to add that one and that one's something we use all the time but it could we could take it or leave it because we could probably use this regular roller just as well now the next one is uh basically the grill level i came up with and basically there's a uh, griddle that goes on here and uh, we had trouble with it wanting to lean one way or the other and i have some levers i put in there and i'll show you here what i've done what i did with that and uh that levels out that grill and that's kind of important if you're throwing eggs on that grill but we've come to the conclusion it's more of a pain to set up sometimes so we don't use that mod as much as i thought i would use it but uh it's if you're real important to keep that level that grill level then that's something that might you might want to think about okay that was our first five and you'll notice those first five are some that we don't really utilize that much now we're getting into this the middle of the mods now and these mods here we use a lot more and i highly recommend them but uh they still are our number one mods and one the first one to start that off is our shire head mod and pretty simple you just buy a new i put a new hose in you don't have to do you can just swap out the actual shire head and most people do this get better pressure and uh i think the reason why we don't use it that much is we don't use the shire that often maybe if we take away one good long trip a year and i may use this one time a year so some people this would be very valuable to to them but in our case it's like i said it's a once once a year thing that we might use the shire but if you use the shire at all you probably want to get this swapped out to the uh i've got the kind that i've got but i think everybody pretty much gets the same brand so. okay our next one is our bag storage that we just added here recently again we haven't had this we only used this for one trip so far so we're really not really seeing the advantage of this yet but we've already utilized it on one trip and we uh it will definitely come in handy having this close to the door it takes this space that you normally wouldn't do anything with and it gives you a little bit of extra place to put stuff in our case we're using it for different bags trash bags and then walmart bags and whatever you might want to have to grab reach in and grab from outside okay number 12 on our list is uh this little side table that we just added recently we just went on a camping trip and i actually love this thing having it on the side of my bed like i can say when you're in bed you can put a drink up here you can put your phone up here and matter of fact this thing's come in so handy that like i showed you before the uh little elastic that we put up in here that i thought i'd utilize we don't use it because this table comes in so handy i like it and i've still got the material to make one for my wife's side but she's yet to uh, say she wants it put on yet so again that that's a mod that I've, i'm really going to be happy with it in the future and uh i'm happy i've done that okay and another recently added thing that we've just only got it to use several times is our new bedside lights and i really do like these they swing around and they you can revolve them back and forth they have several different lighting levels including a red zone and uh we've got those on both sides now and we've got it back in the hole there that way you can utilize it a little bit outside of here just as kind of uh accent lighting and you can also use it when you're in, in bed so really like that that setup i think that's in the future that's going to be something we use a lot and on to our next one and this is a our expanded side table our camper came with this table here but a lot of things i didn't like about the old table this one here is a lot bigger i like it because it snaps into place it's a lot larger than the table we had plus i made it even right here versus being underneath the edge like it was and i have new setups here that have the uh the easy latches as you just hit on each side and it goes down so really like that setup again we've only used that one time but we've already seeing that we're going to utilize that a lot more than the smaller table that was here we're down to number nine now number line nine is a clip that we've added on our fd model when you pull this bed down you have straps on your bed and you don't want them falling behind her so we've actually added this little basically they're potato chip uh clamps that we've used uh basically uh, command strips to stick them to the counter and we we use those to hold those from falling down behind there and i'll show you a picture of how i do this here uh this is a video that i did when i, when I 
uh, put these on initially, but we use these every trip. It's a simple mod, but it keeps it from having to root down underneath there and find those clip, find those uh, straps. And the next thing on our list is this uh, USB combo port we put in here. This is a has USB and the on one side and it has the cigarette lighter set up on the other side I had to have this because I used my CPAP machine over here and I needed that hookup but it also when you're boondocking you can turn this off and then when you need it you turn it on and it gives you that USB port that runs off the battery and you don't have to worry about um, your USBs because you couldn't use these because these would be only if you're hooked up to uh, to 120 so that's a mod that we use a lot. And okay, I, when I was talking about the drawer I put over here on this side, I mentioned about on the other side, I use these dividers. And these dividers are what go in closets of most of the time. And they come in a two-pack, so eventually I could do the other side if I ever decide to take that drawer out of there. But this is something that you just hang from the top, and it has shelves, and it keeps things from falling in the back because it has a back in it. And this has been very well, it fits perfect almost for these. I did put a Velcro in here on the one side to keep this thing from swinging around whenever you whenever you uh, are moving down the road. But I really like this because it just turns this into a shelving unit. Now, something I did pretty early on was I added this spice drawer. And I've actually, re I had to do a little bit of renovation when I did my sink changeover. But we really like this spice drawer. And it gives you so much more space in there. You utilize, instead of having this little piece that folded out on this on the, the initial where you just had a few things in here, it opens all the way up. We've got, you know, a whole row of spices and salt and pepper and everything in there. So it gives you a lot more room to uh, work with there in that area. So we really love this mod. It's one of our favorites. Okay, we're now down to our top five mods that we've done and some of these were put on early on in fact this one here was this is our number five and this was changing out this thermostat a horrible thermostat comes with these units doesn't have any way of telling what temperature it just has high or low and we changed that with this honey wheel strictly heat only you i've seen people buy them with the heat and air conditioner they just don't run it because there's only a two wires in there so all you're doing is controlling that that heat circuit but uh, this is, I don't know, $30, $40 upgrade, and you'll love it because it has the temperature indoors, and it also, you can set it on what temperature, and it keeps that heat a lot more even than that thermostat that came with this. Okay, at number four is our, one of the mods that a lot of people that buy these campers now have standard. They have these big sinks like this, and it comes standard. But some of the earlier models, I think up to 2021, had the little small sink and if you didn't have that if you got that little small sink this is a mod you definitely want to do i did all these i got all this material from forest river and uh everything fit up really well i do a little bit of cutting but uh this mod is well worth what we did and then it's got an upgraded uh faucet as well and that's basically what forest river puts in them now but they didn't do that initially so that has been a, been a big upgrade a lot more sink space and places to do your dishes okay uh, number three on our list is something that we don't talk about much but it's because it does what it's supposed to that is the velcro we've added to the bottom of this cushion to keep it from sliding out it used to drive us nuts sliding out we've never had a problem with it like say we've we sewed the velcro onto the leather on the bottom here and we stapled the velcro onto the wood underneath and I got a video how I did that but this is definitely keeps this from from creeping out all the time on you and then that cushion falling down in behind there so that's a very very good mod that very happy we did and we've mentioned it several times that we love this mod this mod we did here with the lights over the dinette it really makes it a pleasant light. Even if, we, if no one's sitting there, we'll have that light on just as a just kind of a lamp in here. And uh, it runs off the 12 volt. We love it. Like I said, before we had this harsh light. You can see how harsh the one is in here where there was another harsh puck light over here. And it was just a harsh light that we didn't like. And we're really glad we added this light. And our number one modification that we, we were really glad we did was lithium batteries 
lithium batteries are definitely the way to go yes there's a lot of expense but when you get it done you'll see here how we we set this up and uh we put it in our little compartment on the side and uh we're really happy with this setup uh, we only have the 100 ampere battery it works out great for ours i'd recommend if you have one of the 12 volt refrigerators that you go with the 200 amp battery or add the two 100 amp hours and we just don't have to worry about any power anymore uh, if you got a solar panel it keeps it pretty much charged up i'm not saying this will do all your needs if you you boondock a lot but it definitely helps out if you go to two to three day trips and you just don't want to have to worry about that battery dropping below that 50 percent line uh, our system we added a um, victron shunt which we basically we can monitor how much power we have which is well worth the expense i think it was a little over 140 dollars and then we also added a victron charger which i recommend having but we hadn't had to use it much because if you've got the solar set up that solar will bump it up to the max power now in my case my controller unit down here my my actual converter coming in will only take it up to about 13 a little over 13 vo uh, uh, volts but that solar controller takes it all the way up to 14.4 and like i say we had had have had very little had to use that victron controller other than the initial charge when we take the battery out in the winter time but uh that's the number one mod and uh we've done a few other little mini mods we won't really get into but these are the main ones and like i say all this stuff is listed in the the uh video description if you're interested in purchasing and like i say if you want to look for the video just dig around through my video list and you'll find a video on on each one of them as we installed these things so i hope this helps you out uh it might, when you're thinking about putting a mod in so uh that's about all i have for this video just want to let you know where we're at with all of our mods and what we've done around here and uh kind of let you know we're pretty happy with most of the stuff we've done some more so than others but hope that helps you out and uh we'll talk to you again on another one of these uh videos